What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got something for you guys that is cheap, it is universal, every single car can have this, and it can possibly save you thousands of dollars because had I had one in the past, it could have saved me at least a few hundred dollars. And this is gonna cost you less than probably, let's say less than a hundred bucks. So let's jump on in and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so what I'm talking about today, guys, is a tire pressure management system, TPMS. Um, it is universal. You can get these on eBay and they are super cheap. So I actually have three of them and I'm gonna show you three different kinds today because there is a variance in all of them. Now, if you're lucky enough to have um, a car that already has this on, great. Your money saved, well done. But in the past, when I was actually like, I think I was like 18, I drove my first car to work with a flat tire being 18, I didn't, I don't, okay, so I didn't even feel it. It was in an old 1991 NC Fairlane um, and it drove perfectly normal. But then when I got to work, I'd shredded a tire. I know, you're gonna be like, how did you not notice this? I don't even know, but it happened, right? Had I had one of these, that wouldn't have happened. Now, it was just a tire on a stock rim, so it was like 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever. But if you're rolling on the kind of wheels that I roll on, 20s on the Crown, 19 inch, like discontinued VSKFs on the Supra. That really sounded like a flex, it wasn't meant to. Um, you know, uh, X5 wheels on the Beamer. You don't wanna damage them, especially someone like myself. I run stretched tires. So you, you look at the tire and it could look okay, but it could be half flat. So look, there are, like I said, a bunch of different ones that you can get off of eBay. They're cheap, they're reliable, they work. Mm, should, did I say reliable? They've been reliable so far, but if they fail on you, I didn't tell you they're reliable, okay? But look, I'm gonna show you the three that I have because all three that I have are slightly different to each other. So let's jump in the Crown, I'll show you that one, then we'll go to the Supra, then I'll go the one I'm actually gonna put in the BMW. Okay, so this is the one we have in the Crown. Now, it's very small, and that, obviously that, if you don't know, right behind that is a cigarette lighter, so that's what powers it, and it wirelessly connects to the actual sensors on the wheels. Now. I'll take you down to the wheels and show you this kind of sensor. Everyone can use this. It takes two seconds to put on the car, so you can do that straight away. So let's jump down there. Okay, please forgive my dirty wheels, but that's your sensor right there. So it's just on your valve cap. A bunch of you have probably seen this. Um, if you've ever seen these aftermarket kits, you literally take your valve cap off, chuck that on. Yes, it can be stolen, but it's pretty ugly, so why would someone try and steal that? The other downside is, yeah, it's pretty ugly. So look, it's up to you if you wanna run these, but let's jump over to the Supra and I'll show you a slightly different version. Okay, ignore the wheels, but this is a similar style. Obviously you just replace your valve cap with this. Again, ugly. I am considering like uh, wrapping this so it looks like a bolt in chrome. I don't know if that's gonna look trash or if it's gonna look good, but we'll see when they go onto the VSKFs. Um, but the difference of this kit is actually inside, so let me show you that. Okay, there's the difference, guys. So it's actually the, the screen display that has a difference. On the back of this, uh, on the actual mounting point, it actually has a um, solar panel, which is really cool. Now, I don't know if my solar panel is gonna work because as you can see, sorry, the lighting's terrible in here. As you can see, mine's on my little like tinted blue strip, so I don't know if that's actually gonna knock out a lot of it, but you can also see you can manually plug these in. So I've plugged that in, it runs down my A-pillar. I'm gonna hardwire that in to the back of my cigarette lighter so it is off of a fused circuit um, and then that'll have permanent charge. Now, the cool thing about this one is this actually turns off by itself and as soon as it feels a bump, it, for example, opening or closing the door, it turns itself on and it has like a timer so while it feels that, it will stay on but then as soon as you walk away from the car, I think it cuts off after like let's say 50 seconds. So it does save its own battery. As you can see, it's dead at the moment. I haven't actually done the hard wiring. I've just got the wire in place um, because the wire that comes with it goes to a USB spot. So I'm gonna do that off camera. You don't have to worry about that. Now, there is another one I have that's slightly different. So let's go and have a look at that. Okay, this is the other one. Now, all of them come in a box that looks like this. So we'll do a little cute unboxing right now. Now, as I said, this is the cable, so it's got that USB that can plug in. I got a different cable off of, you know, the old Ebays, so I can run it nice and long down and hardwire it in. I'll cut it, I'll cut the USB off, etc., for the Supra. Now, 
This one has the same screen as the Supra. Same screen, but that's your solar panel. So you can see that there. So depending on where you put it on your dash, obviously you might not ever need to plug it in. It doesn't use a lot of uh, power. So you might be able to just pop this in and run it like that. Now, the difference with this kit is this is your actual sensor. Now this goes inside the wheel. So you need to get these installed when you're changing tires and this will replace your actual valve stem. So you can see where it mounts, all that sort of stuff. The issue with both the Supra wheels and the Crown wheels, uh, they don't have this style of valve. Uh, if you saw on the Crown, it is different. Uh, I'll show you what I mean, I'll take you out there. But this would go on something like the X5 wheel where it's not like a two piece or a three piece, it just uh, mounts on and kind of sticks out the edge. So this kit will be going on the BMW uh, because it does fit. Honestly, I want one of these kits on every single car I ever own. So yeah, this one's gonna be going on that. I'm just gonna pack this back up and I'll take you outside and show you why these don't work on the Crown or the Supra. Okay, so here is our valve stem. You can see that the actual valve stem goes back into the rim and then down. So if you were to put this in there, obviously it, the black section is gonna be inside the tire. So it's gonna be sticking out in here. Now that actually might work. It'll look disgusting, but it might work for something like this. It'll look weird. It would work for the back, right? But in the front where you're very, very close to the brake caliper, which is much bigger than this one, uh, it's not gonna work. So. This one specifically doesn't work for this setup, for a in-tire setup, but I'm sure on eBay you would be able to find something. I Honestly, I looked for quite a while and I couldn't find anything, so I've just accepted that these are gonna be the ones on here, which it does kind of hide, and the ones on the Supra are gonna be these for the time being. If I do find one that fits in this kind of a setup, 100%, I'm gonna be changing across. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. On the crown, I don't mind that look. Like I said, it kind of disappears in the kind of the black sections of the rim, so that's fine. On the Supra, you are gonna notice that, that piece. Now, um, for my day-to-day, -day, the benefit of having the tire pressure management system far outweighs the it looking bad. But if and when I ever take the Supra to a show, obviously, it's a two-second job. I'm gonna take this to the show, take these off, put the stock ones back on, and then it can sit there and it can look amazing, you know? So I won't have the issue, obviously. Put them back on when I'm about to leave, and you're all good. Now guys, I can't recommend these highly enough. I'm pretty sure they were about $36, $37 each, max of $50 Australian shipped to my door, and it takes two seconds to install. Granted, these ones, you have to take it to a tire shop or if you can take your tires off and put them back on yourself, great. You can do it yourself. But for someone like myself, I don't have any tire machines, so I'd have to take it to a, a shop. But for the other two cars, yeah, literally stick it on, plug it in, put those on, done. It self calibrates everything. Just make sure you put the right ones on the right tires, but they're labeled. So guys, quick informative video today. Just something that hopefully helps you guys out. I know a lot of guys, I was gonna say everyone, but I know a lot of guys run really nice wheels. Some are discontinued, like Blitz 03s, things like that. You don't wanna damage them. You don't wanna be rolling around, get a nail in your tire, all of a sudden, you, you know, you're, you're rolling on rim because you're running like super stretched tires and goes out, psh, scratching rim, then you gotta fix a rim instead of just fixing a flat tire. So I honestly hope that this video goes out to thousands and thousands, millions of people not for the channel, but purely so that you all know you can buy these. I know a lot of people know you can buy these. It, to me, it's obvious. But there's a bunch of people that might not know, hey, for 50 bucks, you can grab this, chuck it on, and save your rims from ever getting damaged from a flat tire. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you've liked it. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please like, please subscribe, comment below. Let me know, have you got something similar? Have you got another variant that you got off eBay? Maybe you got off Amazon, whatever. Let me know what you've got. Let me know how helpful it's been. Let me know if you have had any issues with these because personally I haven't, I love them. And it's just a, like a little, uh, a little bit of insurance for your wheels. So apart from that guys, I will see you in the next one. See you guys.